Hi, After Buzzers. You're watching the After Buzz TV After Show for Scream, Season 2, Episode 5, Dawn of the Dead. Join us as we break down the episode and give you our thoughts and predictions. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey guys, I'm your host, Katie Campbell. You can find me on Twitter at Katie E.E. E. Campbell. That's Katie with three E's Campbell. Joining me tonight, Callie McInerney. Hey guys, I'm Kelly McInerney. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ka uh, Holly Weirdo. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pegga Rad. You can follow me on Twitter at Pegga Rad. Awesome. So before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for your awesome comments throughout the week. We love reading them. And if you are not subscribed to us on YouTube, please do so. That is youtube.com slash TV. You can also find us on iTunes and SoundCloud. Give us that five star, thumbs up, leave a comment, and tweet us using the hashtag ABTVScream. Scream. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, and we are on the chat roll. Yes. So hello, everybody. Yeah, make sure you guys are letting us know what you thought of this episode. I'm getting excited mm. because we finally have everyone knowing there's a killer on the loose now how are yes. you guys feeling good yeah confident uh -huh. in my choices of who the killers Still? are yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep switching i'm gonna freak out kelly if you know because you knew Half last of, year well i w knew it, yeah i knew it was piper yeah i didn't know it'd be audrey i keep mentioning i'm proud of that <laughs> yeah you are i'm it's proud like, of it too and i feel like i gotta who's... really pay attention to who you're uh, you know suspecting mm -hmm. this season um I thought it was interesting because we had the whole episode just at the school mm -hmm. on lockdown. Um, we have the sheriff's going to question everybody, and I feel really bad for Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. Poor girl. I used to not like her, like, last season, but now it's like, oh, man. She's, like, one of your favorites now, like, at least for me. I feel yeah, so I bad. Yeah, I feel for her. Yeah. She lost her dude. The, yeah. the crazy teacher guy is being all stalkery and weird. And she's so confident that it's him. Which, do you guys think it could possibly be him? Could be. I don't think so. No? Too easy? Oh, uh, the movie thing. I don't think it's him because while um, the killer was at the hotel, he was at the movies. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess it. it could he could be the other killer, but I don't know. I feel like it's too easy. Okay. Yeah, maybe if he's doing all those, like, leaving notes and texts and, and flowers on her car stalking her that's gonna look too suspicious yeah yeah i kind of have a new suspicious character i'm i'm looking at but i'm not gonna say anything until we get to it later i think i know what you're talking about okay. i definitely agree with that have that in my notes mm -hmm. too we'll okay. talk about that i think what is that matt faulkner oh yeah i think is that the one that you're talking about it popped away no i didn't oh, say that's the one i'm talking yeah, about me too. Yeah, well, well now you have to say it yeah like, okay Guys, Miss Lang is no. the killer. No, oh, yes. that's not that's not what I was talking about. I think so. It's too easy. <laughs> I feel like that would be too easy, but we'll talk about it in predictions. Mm. Okay, so everything going on with Brooke, they're taking pictures of her. Uh, you know, Emma's mom's taking pictures of her because that's the crime scene. Mm -hmm. I feel so, like, that's traumatic. Everything that just happened, and I guess that's the procedure... I don't you, know. You have to, like, stand there with blood, like, all over you. That's got to be so bad. Crazy, Your yeah. boyfriend's dead on the floor in front of you. Um, and she gets sent to take a shower. They give her, a, you know, a cheerleading outfit, and Audrey's keeping her company. Um, you guys, I freaking love Audrey. Really? I'm obsessed with her. Yeah. I think she's so cool. What do you think about her involvement last season, then? You know, and now... I don't think she's, I don't know, she's probably involved in a way that looks really bad, but I don't think she ever did anything too bad. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like her. You don't like her. No, I don't. I just, I don't know, something about, she's just such a badass, and I love that. Why don't you like her, Kelly? Because she helped Piper last year, and, like, she's just blaming Stavo. I know it's really creepy for a guy to draw bloody p pictures, but he, if it was a killer, <laughs> he wouldn't have done it in, like, out in the open she's hiding all this stuff from her friends you know it's oh just my gosh. i'm so sorry hold on 
Trent from the chat roll says, Katie is the killer. She has Nina's dog from the first season. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Gigi over here. Is that what the dog's Giant. name was? I don't remember. That but would be really funny. Um, Katie, you have Nina's dog. Everybody say, it's not Nina's dog, you guys. <laughs> well, you know Hilarious. what I think is interesting about Audrey is, you know, she is fixated on Stavo, and she's keeping all of this information inside. You know, she's not telling people she's getting these calls, and I don't think that's the right move. Like, obviously, someone is going to die eventually. Someone's been threatening that to her for four episodes. Mm -hmm. You know, this is five now. But, um, and she's not telling Noah anything. She's just, I feel like she should be, she, she's scared. Is that what it is? She just doesn't want yeah. her involvement to come out. So she's guilty of something. I, that's what I'm saying. If she wasn't guilty, if it was just letters to Piper, then she would have told Noah. I, at least, no, you know, because that's yeah. their buddies. But she had to have been involved somehow last season, you know? So yeah. that's why I, I don't like her. Yeah, we'll see the extent to, you know, what she did. But I don't know. I really, I just liked how she's like with the whole Stavo thing sitting there. Like she like attacked it right away. And she's, I don't know. I like her. Yeah, Stavo make, doing that, even if it is his hobby, just the wrong time mm -hmm. it is it's the wrong time do like do it at home so nobody sees you don't just sit there in front of everybody and do these sketchy drawings yeah. it's so weird like the but killer with the brandon james mask we have zoe's head decapitated yeah yeah that's why he's not the killer though because it's too obvious yeah but he should draw like other like strangers did not yeah. not people they know yeah just or dead just, strangers yeah flowers or something not creepy <laughs> well he's obsessed with the lakewood six now the lakewood five and so is noah he's got his little podcast the morgue and talking about noah so he gets questioned by the police and um i don't know did you think any of that was weird with any of his responses to the police or anything like that i thought it was until like zoe kind of called him out on it like He's trying to disconnect by, like, creating the podcast as, like, a puzzle, like, a pe like trying to figure out the puzzle. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't think, I, I think it's just him not dealing with it, you know? He doesn't want to deal with, oh, this is my friend that's dead, you know? Right. So he's making it more of, like, oh, I'm going to talk, uh, it's, a, it's a murder mystery, you know? Because like, he loves movies like that, so. Yeah, that's probably how he is coping with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's going to you know crash on him one day and he's gonna really just break down right i can i can see that that could be a way that he's dealing with it but then you know zoe bringing that up how she deals with it is just kind of keeps it inside and we already know she has some kind of a past right she alluded to that with um emma in one of the first episodes mm -hmm. didn't she say she was in a class with somebody or i forget i don't remember exactly what she said but i know that a lot of people, a lot of the comments, you know, you guys at home are writing suspect her. Yeah. It, uh, Zoe? Zoe? So, yeah. Huh. I don't know. I feel like... She's definitely not shown enough, mm -hmm. you know? Because mm -hmm. same with Piper last year. It's We didn't see her that much, and she was always... She'd always show up in random times, and she was always nice, but wasn't too, like, on our radar. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they're doing with Zoe. Yeah. She's teeny tiny, though. I feel like it has to be somebody bigger. No. Or two people. Two know. people. One per yeah. one tall, one small. Yeah. She, yeah, she could be strong, right? Strong, but, like, the height, height of the wise. killer has been, like, huge. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys think we're going to see any relationship between Noah and Zoe? I think Noah's preoccupied with Audrey. Yeah, it showed this episode mm -hmm. when he's like, uh, "How I was worried about you. We usually are here together." Uh -huh. And even her, she, her response was like, "Oh, okay, thanks." Yeah, thanks, thanks yeah. not. And then Zoe saw him and her walk off, and she kind of was like, "Oh, there they go." You She's know? getting jealous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think some? No, something's not going to happen though with Audrey and Noah romantically. I think there's just going to be more of a rift between them because of what ends up happening. We yeah. don't know that kiss though. Right. But they were on ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah. they I don't think sparked something. Yeah, I don't think Audrey feels anything, and also she's very preoccupied with like the killer knows, like is texting me right. and stuff. And also, I think she's, yeah, it's like her brother. I feel like for, mm. for him. Um, I forget. I saw it maybe like five minutes ago. Somebody in the chat um, said that maybe Audrey stabbed Jake in the bowling alley last season. So you know maybe she was involved with some of the violence. 
And I think when Piper and Troy, oh, what not Troy, Piper, was it Troy? That's his name? The ex-boyfriend. Will. Oh, no, Will, yeah. Piper and Will. When they were captured, there there was another killer there. Mm-hmm. That was Audrey. Oh. I'm telling you, that was Audrey. That's freaking me out. I don't people are know. saying people are saying Noah's the killer. I don't think he is because why would he steal her phone? You know? Listen, yeah, I thought Noah looked a little suspicious this episode more so than last episode. Really? Just for, you know... He was sitting in the hall the whole time. Yeah, he but was in the hallway that's when a, Emma yeah. was attacked. That's exactly why. The Other. only suspicion that uh-huh. I had. And then what? Like, puts on his little suit or whatever, mask, hoodie, then takes it off real quick and then runs into the emergency exit where Audrey's waiting for him? Like, maybe. But by the, by the end of the episode, I got off that train that I was getting back on to again about Noah because... At the end, he took Audrey's phone. He's snooping. He doesn't know all the texts. I thought he was kind of badgering Audrey in that moment, right? And it was at the library, or yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so in the library, I thought he was badgering Learning her. Learning center. Yeah, to try to get information out of her, even though he knows because he's the one texting her. But then he took the phone, so he clearly doesn't know. He wants to read the text. Yeah. He sees the the gif, right? It's a gif of mm-hmm. Audrey picking those little notes off of Jake's body. So he doesn't know. Now he knows. So he can't be the killer, right? Mm. I don't think so. Also, why don't you delete that off your phone, you know? I guess because it's password protected. <laughs> I think it's Pega. I didn't do it. It's not me. Um, yeah, she should delete that if she's not, if she's trying to hide all of these things that she was mm-hmm. involved with before. Um, which I thought it was interesting, too, Uh when she was helping Brooke, you know, and Brooke was in the shower and getting changed and stuff, she sent a text to Jake, you're going to hell, right? Is that what it said? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, why would she send that through Brooke's phone? Because if the cops did see that eventually, that doesn't, yeah, make, that any doesn't sense. make sense. Why would Brooke text him that? The cops are going to be questioning Brooke. That was Brooke's- a sloppy move. Well, I think yeah. it's because it shows it's after his death and, like, uh, they would find out later that the person texting her was not jake because uh uh, emma's mom said he's been dead for two to three days so Mm -hmm. i think she just they would just be like oh she was she's trying to find the killer because he's been responding to her but at that time they don't know that it's been two or three days right yet yeah right Right. so it's still like time stamp before she found out it was two or three days right so that looks really suspicious she's outing herself yeah with that audrey's not being careful I think, like, we're starting to see Audrey unravel because she's panicking and she's getting nervous and now Jake's dead and she She keeps being almost framed. Yeah, she's just slipping up everywhere. What did she say to Noah? Um, The calls Calls. that I keep getting. Yeah, instead of texts. The calls? (laughs) Thought they were texts. She probably has that in her call log, too. He could look at that next. Yeah. I can't believe he saw the gif or jif or whatever. That picture. That almost looks like she killed him there or something. Mm -hmm. That's so bad. Um... Speaking about Emma's mom, though, so she, the sheriff, I feel like the sheriff's being really smart about this whole situation, about how he's going about it, Mm -hmm. and, I mean, with his explanation, because he does, he thinks that um, Maggie is too close to the situation, and I think that that's correct. Or, like, he's the killer, (gasps) and she, he doesn't want her to tell any of the people that he wants to kill any information. You know, if that makes sense. I could so see that. Yeah, because he's being really sense. weird with stuff like, okay, uh, you have a gun, okay. I just need an in. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, that was that Who was does a little that? Weird. That's like, that's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but he has the, if he's the killer, he has the in. He's got the GoPros, he knows where everybody is at every, all moments of the day. Audrey, Emma, everything. Well, like, what kind of in was he looking for? at that time just to like, see who they're suspicious su- like being suspicious of so because maybe he's the killer he's a good suspect i don't think it's him yeah but he's a good suspect sheriff is on my list i mm-hmm. think that he thinks it's one of the lakewood five now yeah that's true he's suspecting one of them but then he's like i'm not just gonna limit it to only five people right so he's gonna keep an open mind about it but i think he really thinks it's one of them so he's trying to be on their side that's what he said i, I forget what he called what it was. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. So it's, you know, 
play the good guy, the nice guy in a bad situation, inevitably they come out mm-hmm. and they're on your side. Mm-hmm. And, you know, not necessarily the one that's doing the killing, but the other ones will show the innocence, tell them, tell him something, trust in him, so he can narrow it down even farther and find the killer. Yeah. With the whole Maggie thing, I think that she has the capability to do her job and be there for, mm. you know, Emma and her friends, too. I don't know. I don't see her being, like, too emotional. Even though we did see her cry over, you know, Jake. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think she can separate work from that. I also think, though, the sheriff is worried that more of them are going to get killed, and it could maybe be Emma or something, and he doesn't want her to I break see. down or whatever. I Also, he said he watched her tell Brooke that information, right? I didn't think anyone else was in the auditorium. It's a big auditorium. (laughs) Hmm. This is all so creepy. I think, though, that Maggie um, is dealing with a lot with her own daughter that I think she is too close to the situation. I think it was a good move to remove her. Yeah. Even if it's because he's a killer and Mm -hmm. trying to... But I think even as a... Both situations, I think it's good to remove her. She's so good at her job. I don't know. I feel like she's Taking photos? Yeah, but he's been dead for five days, not two to three. Maybe you really can't tell that just by looking at it, and it is the initial look yeah. of the body, but she didn't even know that. Has it been five? Yeah, because uh, Sunday, Sunday night? Or was it Monday? Either way, that's... the weekend? Because she said, because uh, Brooke said she last saw him Sunday night. Okay. And then right after the pool, did he go there and get killed? Mm-hmm. Is that what happened? Yeah, he, he went He got the and text met... from the dad. Yeah. Yeah, which speaking of the text from the dad, that's still so weird. And the mayor, you know, I, I, something's going on with that whether the mayor was blackmailed into texting this information to Jake or the mayor's involved somehow. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on there. He he says to the sheriff, "I'm innocent, right? I'm not a suspect." And he says no to the mayor mm-hmm. until he reads the phone. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's yeah. more text messages that we've never seen before either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't trust Brooke's dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But He's I like creepy. I like what you said, I think, in a previous episode, like maybe somebody's threatening him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with other blackmail stuff. Yeah. Because he's got a lot of... Dirty secrets. Yeah, skeletons but in his closet. It also was weird, though, that the sheriff was like, you're not a guy that'll throw a body in front of his daughter. you got a freezer in your garage, which doesn't he have a... That's where he, that's he put where, that Yeah. Thing. That's why he said that. Yeah. Because they're just letting that go. They're scooting oh, that under the rug. He knew about it. Right. Obviously. Right. I don't Please. know. I don't know. I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. Let's talk a little bit about Kieran. Yes! Um, <gasps> oh, man. So are you still on this whole Kieran is the killer? Yes, because the killer wants to be wants people to think, oh, you know, like, he wants people to think he's stupid and he leaves a gun in the thing so people won't think it's him, you know? Because the killer is too smart to leave a gun in the... That's the, what the sheriff told him. <sighs> yeah. So that's true. He he's spinning it. He could be spinning it in that situation. Mm-hmm. And also when Stavo and them were fighting or whatever, or Emma and Haley, he was like hiding behind the thing. So at right by the emergency exit, so he, he could have. Escaped. He wasn't jumping in. He jumped in at, towards the end. Oh. He was wearing his headphones and couldn't yeah. hear it apparently. No. No. Yeah. But honestly, you guys, it's too quick. That's way too quick for them to move. I mean, they're not ninjas. They're humans. Yeah, but there was a whole riot going on. Yeah. yeah. It was a big thing. Like, how can you not hear that? And how can you not hear Haley? I can't stand her. Oh, my with gosh. With her comments. I want her to get expelled. I know. She <laughs> Please. did this elaborate thing in the first episode, yeah. this prank, and, you know, and she's like, why was I picked? Oh, uh, because you are you did that? And she looked like she genuinely didn't understand why she's being questioned. And then yeah. she tells everybody that they're checking the lockers. Yeah. So if, like, maybe, I don't know, if, if there was a different killer, he could have gotten it, his locker out or, you know, removed something from the locker. I don't but know. Poor Kieran went and mm-hmm. did that whole thing and looked maybe. in his locker. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying it wasn't smart to be like, they're checking our lockers. So you think that Kieran had his gun there on purpose. Yeah. Just and he's to throw everybody off. Yeah. And he's playing the like, oh, that's my dad's gun. But he's just planted it there so people won't think it's him. Because he's dumb. Why would he be carrying the gun? I see somebody well, says right saying, here. Yeah. He said he was going to protect his friends. It wouldn't be to kill anybody because it's a slasher. Or maybe, I don't know, has the killer shot anybody yet? 
Mm, I don't think, I don't so. think so. No. He's but hung somebody. He just, but I'm just saying he kept it in there just to throw people off that it wasn't him. Okay. And Cause, because you'd be too suspicious that way. You're not going to go drop a body in front of this whole auditorium and then have a gun in your locker. Mm-hmm. Those are two separate issues. And, and then maybe he, it's the same issue and he's trying yeah. to... And he planted the phone in Emma's thing so he could, like, call yeah. her out How? and be like, listen, it wasn't me, because I think it's important to give it to the cops. And telling you the He's inside the killer. information. Yeah, how did that phone get in her bag? Kieran put it in there. <laughs> I know. How did it get in her bag? It's one of the people in the school that put it in there. These things happen Hi, to Emma. John Tavares. It could also have been Eli when she was taught, when she was hung up at her locker. Yeah. You know? Eli. Eli seemed cool this episode. Somebody, but I still don't trust him. I don't him. trust him. Somebody commented saying that maybe it's Kieran and Eli on last... Uh, that makes which, sense. That makes sense, they too. They kind of had that dumb and dumber kind of uh, thing going, they're you know? They're putting on this facade that they hate each other, but they're really working together. Kind yeah. of like in Scream 1, the Ooh. movie, Stewie and... What, uh, Dewey, Billy. sorry, Dewey and Billy. Billy and Stu. Stu. Oh Dewey God. is David Dewey's, Arquette. Yes. He's a good guy. Stewie and Bill. There we go. Billy. I like this. I can see that. Um, he was nice to Emma, though. He's saying, I'll get rid of the phone for you. Although, if I was em- if I were Emma, I would not trust him. No, I would Because wouldn't. she hasn't been able to trust him. Why all of a sudden are you going to trust him again? You've been down this road before, Emma. I mean, the sheriff does end up getting the phone before she can give it to him, but she was literally about to hand him the phone, like, okay, yeah, you get yeah, rid of it. Yeah, he, he was a little too eager to help her. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'll do a better job than you do. You will. Yeah. I think, though, Emma was just like, I just can't deal with this. Get rid of, like, anybody. If anybody offered to get rid of it for her, I think she just would have given it to them, you know? Yeah. So well, I it's... think that's why she's just like, I, I don't want to... Everybody's just being really sloppy and mm-hmm. really just, like, don't care about anything. They need mm-hmm. to try harder. But what if they Keep really together? can't trust each other? They can't, but all the more reason to be more, you know, careful about every single thing you do and who you yeah. trust and who you're talking to about these things. Yeah. But Emma's having some problems, too, because she's had a lot of PTSD from this. Um, she went to the, the psych ward, which is totally understandable, after she watched her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend sliced. at the time, whatever he was, sliced in half in uh. front of her. Blood squirted on her. Like, obviously, she's going to have some issues from that. Um, but she's having a tough time because I feel like everybody's trying to tell her she's crazy. And they're not listening to her, which makes them either look suspicious or just not mm-hmm. do their job correctly. Yeah. I think she's smart, though, because she's stopped playing their game. You know, once they she got locked in that room and she saw the killer, I think the killer wanted her to be like, I saw the killer, he did this. But instead she's like, I had a panic attack. She's like, fuck, I'm not going to make people think I'm that crazy. Yeah. I, this is the one episode this season. I was like, finally, Emma, you're like... Coming to your senses. Yeah, you're being a good heroine or final girl, you know? So, speaking of her getting locked in that room, though... That was so creepy. Miss Lang. Miss Lang yeah. is the killer. You guys, yeah. I for sure, when that happened, thought that the killer was inside oh. the room, like in a closet somewhere, and Miss Lang was, like, locking her in there, and she'd be like, ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, my heart was beating so fast. Okay, we're on lockdown at the school. The killer, they are kind of, I guess, hoping that the killer might be in there so they can catch mm-hmm. the killer. You know, the sheriff's trying to question all these people. Why? Okay, we have to separate these girls that were just getting in a fight, you know, but why would she be left alone, locked in a room by herself? That makes Miss Lang look so suspicious. Also, yeah. like she's like, it's okay. You're just, you just, uh, your adrenaline's up. You're not fine. It ha- it's normal. It's normal. And then later on, she's like, we're worried about your mental health. Yeah, right. you're oh. the killer. She is the killer. You know, she Her really is. Karen. Okay, and they're having a relate a romantic affair. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. But oh that'd gosh. be really cool. We've had some people. Um, I can't remember if it's a, a comment or in the <laughs> chat before on another um, after show say that maybe she is related to Piper, the adoptive mom, oh, or yeah, adopted I, mom or something. Mm-hmm. So this is, you know, personal for her because she knew Piper or was related, or, you know. She might be. Maybe. Somehow. I, I just, just, yeah. She was in the hallway. Noah was in the hallway. Other people could have been in the hallway, yes. But the two of them were in the hallway when this happened with the killer approaching Emma outside the window. And the sheriff and, like, the cops and stuff. 
You don't think uh, Noah could have just like walked back into the learning center and be like, sorry guys, I had to like really go to the bathroom or something. No, I think you think he it's not a lot like they'd be like, How'd you get out there? And it'd like, be more well, drama. One of and your stuff. dumb cops let my friend go throw up and I just walked out. Yeah, she's I don't not... know. That's what I would have done. Like, hey guys. The just cop went that to the bathroom let Audrey and Zoe out. If I was that cop, there was a lot of other cops in the room. Right. Grab somebody else. Don't yeah. leave your post. <laughs> or even, or even like, well, you're not supposed to let anybody go, but the two of them getting out and that, you know, she's still standing at the door is better than her going with the two of them and <laughs> 40 people coming out of the door. Yeah. yeah. I also think they should have not just only checked the lockers and interviewed people. They should have checked the classrooms like Miss Lang's where that costume probably was, you know? Are they even questioning the teachers at this point? Which is ridiculous, because Piper wasn't even a student. She was like a podcaster, you know? Right. So it could be an outside person. But we don't even know if the killer is still at the school. We don't know when that body was put up there. We don't know when Jake was put up there. We don't know when it was released. Maybe it was like a, I don't know, something dropped it. Like, well, they had to have rehearsal. Thing. But the phone. It was planted in Emma's purse or Emma's backpack this morning, like this today, because she's like, I cleaned out my backpack last oh, night. Oh, she said she cleaned out their backpack. But and they also had to have a rehearsal of dropping this banner down. Yeah. You know they're gonna run through that at least once before. So one hundred percent, the killer was in the, the school. We know that. Unless here's something that the sheriff, when the sheriff first arrived, um, they weren't letting anybody in. And any of the parents said, that were somebody slipped out. out in somebody that. could have slipped out because the comment he made to his cops that are working under him is, close that door, lock that door. So somebody could have easily slipped out when this chaos is happening. Like, this is already released to the parents, the press. Like, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. driving over there already. It's been some, like, it's been maybe 15 minutes or something at least. And yeah. the emergency exit was disarmed, as we come to find. So Because could've... Kieran had to go in and out. Oh, yeah. I'm stuck Kieran. on it. I'm stuck on it, guys. I don't know, you guys. My mind keeps changing every minute. Yeah, some, I think, I don't know where the comment went, but it's her dad. Is that, Maybe that's Emma's dad. Do you think Emma's dad at, at mm. all no. is involved? I no. think he's just a broken man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see him. Maybe for the rest of the season. I don't or maybe really it's see the finale a, yeah, or something. Yeah. I don't see a point. Yeah. Um, I don't get shady vibes from him at all. It's just kind of, like you said, just mm -hmm. like lost, broken, needs help. And know? it's like what Haley said every time there's a killer, it's like a crazy uh, a crazy Duval is around. So he was mm -hmm. just the crazy Duval, you know? He's just... Maggie, too. So sad. Yeah. You know, she she didn't die with the whole Brandon James thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did we cover everything in the episode? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. RJ, Sheriff. Um, yep. I think Emma yeah. should have wiped off that blood, though. You know, less dramatic. Yeah. Just wanted to say <laughs> and that. She's it just crazier. standing there, yeah. like. Crazy. And then she's like, "No, nah, it's a panic attack. It was cool. Okay. Wipe it off. Make it more chill. You know." <laughs> it's a panic attack. I broke through this window with a chair and cut my arm. Why don't you call somebody though? Which, by the way, I've always wanted to do. I've always oh. wanted to break a window with something. Yeah, it and took her, what, six like, times or something to get yeah. it through? Looks so fun. All right, well, if you do that, I want to see. Okay. <laughs> I want to be there. Slow-mo Snapchat. Yeah, or that. That's fine. <laughs> um, let's talk about some predictions. Ooh, let's do it. Okay. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Predictions. Hmm. Can I say who I think it is? Yeah, yes. go. Go ahead. Really quickly, I just want to say, Darren, uh, Tierney, I think Emma's dad might help Emma with PTSD, but will get killed when they make up. Hmm. Mm. That's a good prediction. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, you guys, I don't trust Brooke's dad. I think he's such a creep. He's so weird. He pops mm -hmm. up out of nowhere all the time. He has power and he has money and access so he can easily get around and do things and cover it up and he has the stature and he yeah. didn't like Jake and I don't know maybe he's tied somehow to the whole James's thing yeah he's tied yeah. into something so that mm -hmm. could easily go that way 
He's tied into something with all this blackmail that he's yeah. yeah. getting. I just don't trust him. I don't either, but I don't think he's the killer because I don't think he would get his hands dirty. You know, I feel like somebody, maybe he, if anything, he would have hired somebody else to yeah. do it. But, um, interesting. I do, th- I think the killer's blackmailing him, though, like what you said. I think maybe Kieran or Miss Lang is, mm. la- they know something about him, maybe the, the thing from last season, you know? Yeah. I, um, in the previews, are, a lot happened really quickly, but a few things that I got was that Noah, you know, thinks it's Audrey, and he's basically turning against his friend and trying to have Emma believe it's Audrey. But, you know, psychotically, maybe the killer would want to do that and split up the friends. Mm. Easy, easy pickings. Right? <laughs> easy pickings. <laughs> yeah. So that makes Noah suspicious a little bit. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's not I Noah. I don't think it's him. Mark my words. All of you. Yeah, of okay. You. You, I mean, you. I get it. <laughs> well, and Brooke is torturing Seth Branson, right? It looks like it. With a, which, Did she have a knife? Yeah, mm-hmm. and she was like, go. I mean, we assume that it's like his stomach. I yeah. don't think she'll do anything. You think so? Or maybe she goes crazy. Maybe I think Brooke's she like, I need to get back yeah. at you for being a crazy psycho. I think she Stop. has snapped, and I do think she believes it was Branson. So she's going to get revenge for the guy that she loved. She did mm-hmm. love Jake. Um, and Savo, I think he's just going to, I think this creepiness is going to start to turn around. What do yeah, you it looks like he was helping Brooke. I think he, him and Brooke help, uh, like, try and torture Branson. Because okay. they were talking. Oh, so then he is. In the preview. Pre- okay. Were they? Was it the two of them talking? Yeah. Okay. I just think he's not going to be so much of a loner creep anymore. I think it's going to start turning around because of what happened with, with Audrey and Stavo. And I feel bad that she broke his iPad. Yeah, he's like, next time go break something you love. Like, aw. Yeah, but I think he's just going to maybe gain an ally. Yeah. And I Do you guess... think he's going to become one of the Lakewood people? Like, he'll become a... Jake. Yeah, so it goes back to six? <laughs> maybe. Lakewood five plus Stavo. I don't know. Equal six. Maybe. Hmm. I'm on this whole Mrs. Lang thing. I think she's really It was suspicious. too scary. Like, how can she you lock, so her, lock her up like that? And I know I think they're trying to make it sketchy, but I don't yeah, know. that look that she made when she locked the door, I was mm-hmm. like, "Come on, yeah, she better go get her costume." It was quick. really obvious in her classroom. <gasps> yeah, she is crazy. Okay, so I'm excited for next week. It looks intense. Um, I love this show. I do too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really, really do. It's really fun. Yeah, because they kind of make it that a lot of people could be the killer and could have motive. So it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good it's, guessing game too because mm-hmm. they definitely know you're guessing because that's why they <laughs> they had Emma be like I cleaned out my bag last night so oh you're like oh okay narrow it down yeah. you know I wanted to bring something up when Noah when Kieran tells Noah and them that he has something in his locker that they don't want to find remember in the first Scream movie how um, whatever his name was the horror movie guy Randy Randy was like don't ever say I'll be back yeah, and so Kieran's like, I gotta go to my locker. I'll be back. And then Noah's like, I can't believe you just said that. Yeah. I don't know if he was talking about like him having a something in his locker that was sketchy, or just like the "I'll be back" thing. But I just got a chuckle out of that. That's funny. funny. You yeah. caught that. I didn't yeah. think of it like that, but that's I'll interesting. Be back. He loves the horror movies, yeah. so it totally makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, until um, next week, where can everybody find you guys online? Hey, I'm Kelly McInerney. You could find me on Twitter and Instagram at Holly Weirdo. Um, I am Pegarad. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Pegarad. Follow me. Let's be friends. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Katie E. Campbell. That's Katie with three E's. Campbell. Instagram at Katie Campbell 13 and YouTube.com slash Katie Campbell online. And I have Nina's dog right here. Thank you, Nina's dog, for joining us and tweet us. And we'll see you guys next week. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.